What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here and moving on to a few other limits. So notice these are in similar formats because we have these exponent negative ones to deal with. So first limit, we have this limit as x approaches 4 of x minus 4 over x to the power of negative 1 minus 4 to the power of negative 1. And notice that we can't plug in an x value of 4 because if we do right here, we'll have 4 to the negative 1, but minus 4 to the negative 1, that would give us 0. Can't have a denominator of 0. Notice we'll have 0 in the numerator as well, 4 minus 4. So with these types of limits, you're going to have to do a little bit of algebra. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get rid of these negative exponents. I personally don't like to deal with them. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to flip these. So x to the power of negative 1, that's like 1 over x. And 4 to the negative 1, that's like 1 over 4. Right? Because if you remember, a to the power of negative b, that's the same as 1 over a to the power of b. Right? So we just bring that exponent down, and then that exponent changes to a positive. So this x to the negative 1, if we use this rule, that's like 1 over x to the power of positive 1, and then x to the power of positive 1, we don't have to write that, we could just write x. Same thing with the 4, right? It'd be 4 to the power of 1 here, we could just write a 4. Now if this was like x to the negative 2, then we can't get rid of that exponent if we bring it down, because it's not a 1, it's a 2 then. But it was just x to the negative 1, so you could just leave it as uh, x once you bring it down. And then from here, what you got to do is you actually have to combine these two into one fraction. And so, uh, let me think here. Let's actually do this on the side and then bring in that algebra after. So we got 1 over x minus 1 over 4. Uh, what we got to do here is, since we're subtracting fractions, we've got to get a common denominator. So what would the common denominator be? Well, we can multiply them together. So we can multiply this by 4 and then this by x. But if we multiply the bottom by 4, we've got to multiply the top by 4. If we multiply the bottom by x, we've got to multiply the top by x. So now what we'll have is 4 minus x over 4x. Okay, so 4 minus x over 4x is the same as 1 over x minus 1 over 4. Both of those are the exact same thing. So now, if we bring that in, we'll have x minus 4 over 4 minus x over 4x. Now, notice we are now dividing fractions. So this x minus 4, I'm going to actually put over 1 to make it a fraction. So we're taking this fraction and dividing it by that fraction which is the same as um, taking the top fraction and multiplying it by the reciprocal of the fraction we're dividing by. Okay, whenever you're dividing by a fraction, that's the same as multiplying it by its reciprocal. So we flip that second fraction and now notice we have this x minus 4 here and this 4 minus x. They're not the same, but we can make them the same. What we can do is we could take out a negative from this. So if I factor out a negative, now that 4 minus x becomes x minus 4. And now notice this and that can cancel out. And we're left with a negative 1 at the bottom. So we're left with 4x over negative 1. Now we could sub in this x value of 4 because that x minus 4 is gone in the denominator. So if we sub in this x value of 4, we'll have 4 times 4 over 16, uh, I mean uh, 16, all over 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 16 divided by negative 1, that just gives us negative 16. And so that's the answer to that limit there. So the trick was first converting this to that and then combining these into one fraction so then we can divide these fractions and then that x minus 4 has to cancel out. Before that happens though, we have to factor out a negative from that 4 minus x to make it x minus 4. Or we could take out a negative from this one and make it 4 minus x. Either way, a negative has to come out from one of them 
and we'd be left with that negative there. That's why the limit is negative. All right, so that's number one. Negative 16 is the answer. This one here, I'm going to continue where if I take the limit as h approaches 0, first off, we can't plug in 0 for h because the denominator is going to be 0. So what we got to do, very similar to here, got to change this to that. So we got to take the reciprocal of these. 5 plus h to the power of negative 1 is like 1 over 5 plus h to the power of positive 1. Minus 5 to the negative 1 is like 1 over 5 to the power of positive 1. Since they're to the power of positive 1, let's not even write the 1's here. So it's just 5 plus h. That's only because it's 1. If it was 2, then we wouldn't be able to do that. We can't just get rid of that exponent. But with a 1, we can. And then this is still all over h. So now what we got to do is we have to combine these two into one fraction. So before the fractions were in the denominator, now the fractions are in the numerator. And so when we do that, uh, we got to get a common denominator first. So we can multiply this by 5, and then this 5 we can multiply by 5 plus h. So if we multiply this by 5, we've got to multiply the top by 5. If we multiply this by 5 plus h, we've got to multiply the top by 5 plus h. And so what we'll have is, uh, this looks like it's 15, it's not, it's 1 times 5. So 1 times 5 is 5. Now be careful here, this minus, you got to minus that entire expression. So you got to keep that expression in brackets. That's super important. You can't just say 5 minus and then not have those brackets because then we would just be subtracting that 5. You're subtracting that entire expression in that numerator. So you got to keep that in brackets. And this is going to be all over 5, bracket 5 plus h, right, which is the denominator, the common denominator. Remember, this is still all the numerator, and then this is going to be all over h. And I'm actually going to make it over h over 1, just to have a fraction in the denominator as well. So we got this fraction, and then this fraction. So notice first we can simplify that top by... Um, distributing the negative inside the bracket. So we'll have the limit as h approaches 0. 5 minus 5 is 0, and then distribute that negative to this h, and we'll have negative h over 5 bracket 5 plus h. So that's this fraction in brackets, simplified. And we're dividing by this fraction, which is the same as multiplying uh, by its reciprocal. So instead of dividing by h over 1, I'm actually going to multiply this by 1 over h. Same thing. Dividing by h over 1, multiplying by 1 over h. And now notice what happens. Those h's cancel out, and now we could plug in 0 for h. We'll be left with negative 1 up top. 5 plus 0 is 5 times 5, 25. So negative 1 over 25 is the answer to number 2.